friends and welcome to my studio. I'm Vlad Duchev. Small tips how to paint in oil. And today our subject is over mixing. Over mixing the colors on our palette before we apply it to our canvases. I found two problems with over mixing. First problem, you when you when we over mix, uh, we, 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 will, we will create what I call illustrative color. This is a solid illustrate illustrative looks like digital uh, color. Um, which have no interest. Um, and then another problem, second problem, is um, by over mixing uh, extensively, over mixing the color, you're actually removing the chroma by binding those two colors together, trying to merge and push them too close to each other. Uh, and I will show you, you know, on, on the canvases these, uh, examples. Uh, this is a problem for, me, for myself. I found this uh, very. Um, difficult to um, to change because I used to do this you know over mixing but by practicing and practicing and practicing and how to practice is very simple uh, you need to know your colors before mixing because the biggest problem uh, when you grab the colors uh, and you try not to mix on on a palette but move it right away to the canvas sometimes you make a mistake especially if you don't know your colors or your mixes you move to the canvas and then you're like, hmm, that's not, that's a wrong color. Uh, and then you adding another one. The simple uh, solution for this, if you know if you it's not the right color, just take a palette knife and just scrape it, right? Um, and learn, learn your mixes. Just get, uh, I would recommend getting uh, Centurion OP DLX uh, Deluxe Oil Prime Linen. It's a pad with 10 sheets, six by eight, very inexpensive. Uh, I'm normally ordering them like 10 and I'm using it with uh, uh, two, two ways, let's say. Uh, practicing my mixes, uh, doing you know color charts, one the reason I'm using this and another reason I'm before I start painting you know something bigger, bigger on a bigger scale, I will actually take six by eight, make you know shapes, drawing of my subject or matter you know, I mean the uh, motive I'm painting and then I will practice my putting my colors here first and then if it's working fine then I will okay let's move on to the next step all right so mixes uh, let's let's mix some colors put them on the canvas and see we'll see the differences so this column is actually good mix uh, not over mixed and this column is actually over mixed and I already put some you know two samples I mixed um, green as you can see and I took lemon yellow, and which, which is cold yellow, and I took uh, royal blue, uh, Saint Petersburg royal blue, which is cold too. Uh, I make two piles. One I mix maybe two times with my palette knife, and another one this pile I over mixed. I spend a little more time over mixing it, and I put, I grab this you know pile uh, with a good mix, what I call good mix, not over mixed. And I put it right here with several strokes and I took another pile and I put it right here. So as you can see, this is over mixed color and it's actually, and this is good mix, which is not over mixed. And both colors are from same pile, same mix, uh, same amount of um, yellow lemon and blue, royal blue. This is not over mixed, this is over mixed. Uh, and you can see the chroma on this color is actually falling into kind of grayish and this is more bright. You can see actually if you look closer you can see yellow, blue, but if, when you move away from, from this mix it's actually a green color. And this has more variety of more shades of different colors. So this is more interesting color. This what I call illustrative color. First of all, the chroma is a little bit removed. You can see it's more than a grayish color. And the second, there's no interest. It's just plain, plain um, green color. So let's let's uh, mix something else. Let's let's say let's mix uh, orange. We'll take uh, yellow, um, get a yellow light. And this is warm color, and I'll take um, cat red light, which is uh, warm color too. And this is what I will do, not not over mix. So I will just mix several times. That's it. Take half of it, move it right here, 
and I will over mix this. And that's what we normally do to just have tendency to mix it until we have that solid, beautiful color. It's, it is a beautiful color. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is not beautiful color. This is as the illustrative color. This is beautiful. So let's t let me take this color and put it right here. Beautiful orange color, right? And now let me take this color, which is not mixed, and I will put several strokes right here to make sure I'm not over mixing. And I, also, you can, you can see this is actually uh, falling into a, again grayish but darkish color, and this is solid color, beautiful color, but this more illustrative color. It's just one plain color. This is more interesting because you can see yellow, you can see red spot, but if you move away, it's actually orange, orange uh, color. So let's mix something else. Let's mix, um, let's mix um, purple. Let's take cold uh, ozone crimson, and we'll take. Um, actually, let's do. Cobalt. And again, I'm not going to over mix. That's it. And then I'm going to take half of it and I'm going to over mix it right here. Now let me take this color and put it right here. It's a dark purple color. And, and let, let me, me take, take this, this one, just a little bit of this, and move it right here. So it's really good, probably difficult to see it on the camera, but right here I can see blue. I can see actual lizard and crimson, just small you know, spots of losing crimson. I can actually put a little, probably one more stroke. Try to just make sure I'm not killing it. Yes, right here. And then blue, red, and this is more interesting color for me. It's, it has a life in it. This more illustrated because I over mixed it. See this? It's plus the chroma in this is actually falling. You can see it, it's falling actually into gray color as well because you're, you Push, pushing two colors together too close. Um, so the, just chroma in this completely different than this one. And this is, has this color, this mix actually has a little bit more. Uh, it's more interesting than this one. So this is just illustrative color. Let's actually try to mix three colors uh, together. Let me clean the palette. Make sure the palette is clean. Let's take, let's say, let's take this color. This is cold red. Let's make more. Actually, you know, this is a very saturated color. So let's take a little bit. Let's take um, Viridian, Viridian by Gambling, which is cold as well. And let's take cold uh, by Bleak to Ochre Light. Okay. So let's make them a little bit together, like this, no more than this. Then let's take half of it. We're going to overmix. Now, I know I'm gonna create mud because I mixed two uh, different colors, biases, warm and cold. But I just wanna show you that even the mud, when you're creating a mud, for, uh, because you're mixing cold and warm colors together, if you over don't, if you're not over mixing, you won't see that mud. It will be hidden. Now, so we got brownish, gray, brownish color in this. So let me grab it and put it right here. It's a beautiful grayish brown color. Very 
interesting color, right? Now let's see what we what we can get with this. If we don't overmix that. Oh, look at this. Now look at this color and look at this color. So if you look at the line of this color, it's very illustrative, right? And you look at the line of this, it's more kind of oil painting colors, especially this color. This is actually showing a lot of red, um, green, ochre, because it's not over mixed. So, and you can put this and this or this together and close to each other with all this variety of colors, um, you know, sparkling. That what it's, you know, that's when you, push your viewer to your painting and, and you know, the viewer will start uh, imagining something because that's, there's a variety of colors, okay? So you can see the colors right here, yellow, green, and when you step back, this looks like a green. Now look at this, the color on the left looks like yellowish greenish, and this over mix, it looks like a grayish color right here. See, illustrative color. Same with oranges, look at this. You see red, oranges, you st I mean red and yellow. But if you want to step back, it's an orange. That's the interesting orange. But you look at this, this is darker and it's just solid color. Same with the purple right here. You see a and crimson, you see blue. It's, when you step back, it's purple. Now this one is completely killed. And three colors, even more interesting look at this you see all three colors right when you step back it's actually brown brownish grayish color but look at this color it's completely killed so good good mix on the left and overmixed colors on the right illustrative colors so this is all this is all for today don't overmix the colors because you will create illustrative color and you will actually kill the chroma. So try, try not to over mix on the palette, try, try to mix, you know, learn to mix on actual only canvas. In order to do it, yes, it's difficult. I spent maybe, you know, months practicing or maybe even more practicing just to grab colors and put them on the canvas. And a lot of times, you know, when I start doing this, my best friend was palette knife because I would put, the, I, I uh, paint with the brushes, uh, a palette knife only on the second stage uh, on uh, underpainting, second layer of the underpainting. But my first, as I said, my best friend, not the first, but best friend when I was studying color was palette knife because I will put the color mix on the canvas. That's not what I want. What I will do, I will just scrape it. And yes, but that's, that way you will learn much, much, much faster. Okay, so don't over mix your colors. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna shoot some other video about other stuff, um, you know, small tips, as I said, how to paint, how to paint in, in, uh, in oil. Uh, so, play stay in tune and I'll see you next time.